coming up next, ah, uh, yes, a welterweight title fight between Tyron Woodley and Nick Diaz. And now our tale of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. Woodley is one year his senior. Diaz will have a two-inch reach advantage. We send it inside the octagon. The veteran voice is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC welterweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 26 wins, 10 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Stockton, California, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC Walter White champion of the world, Nick Diaz! And now this is a part this man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 19 wins, 3 losses, and 1 draw. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of St. Louis, Missouri, USA, presenting the challenger, Tyron, the chosen one, Woodley. You ready? You ready? Let's go. All right, here we go. This should be good. Five rounds if needed to determine the UFC's welterweight champion. Just misses there with the left. That left hook landed well. These guys throwing early. He's doing a very good job of parrying and blocking all the shots that are coming towards his head. Oh, nice strike landed there by Wood. Oh, big kick. Oh, what a leg kick. Body kick, look at that. Well, Joe, I know he respects the power coming back, but it looked like he moved right into that kick to the body, and his opponent landed it flush. So let's see if he changes up his footwork a little bit and tries to avoid further damage to the midsection moving forward. Oh, nice. Beautiful combination of punches to the head. He gets tagged again. He's doing a really good job of timing these shots. That one hurt. Diaz gets caught with that punch. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Oh, Diaz's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Woodley gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Establishing the jab here. Big 
straight punch. He is going after it here. Diaz gets caught with... Oh! Big body, body shot. shot there, too. before the final horn, you can classify that as saved by the bell. Here's a big punch that results in a knockdown. Let's see it again. Let's see it one more time. Brittany Palmer in the building tonight. Second round underway. That last round was an all-out brawl. If they continue like that in this round, someone's getting knocked out. Tyron Woodley is an extremely powerful wrestler with some vicious one. Oh, oh, huge right oh, hand! This could be it right here. Oh, Hit him hard so with that hook. That oh. 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 Nice leg kick. What a wild exchange! Well, the offense has been there. He is landing some good shots, but not really stringing them together and putting combinations on his opponent. He's got to mix up his strikes, change his tempo a little bit, and try to get his opponent out of there by landing more than just one strike at a time. That one here to stun him. He's very wobbly. He's trying to hang on. Yeah, he got clipped there. He got hurt. to the head. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Transitions back to full guard. And he controls Nick in side control now. Back to half guard. Excellent movement here on the ground. Will he gets back up, back into his comfort zone. Just over two minutes to go. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Man. Oh, misses with the jab. Punch coming, it's blocked. He rocked Looked like him. it did stun him a little bit. He is in trouble. There's a nice inside leg kick. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. Little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Good defense to block the strike coming back. Nice jab, very snappy jab. Wow, what a back and forth wow. exchange. Oh, he got tagged. He's in a lot of trouble. Oh, man. He's badly, badly hurt. Whoa! Unbelievable. Oh! Two rounds in the box. So there's the end of the round, and thankfully it came right then and there for him. He was knocked down pretty significantly near the end of the round. That will keep him in the fight. He goes back to the stool. We'll see to what extent he can recover. Let's take a look at it from a different angle. Okay, you're okay. Great job. Listen, all right, hey, you got caught. All right, hey, it happens. 
The beautiful Jenny Andrade getting us going. Championship fight. Punches blocked. Oh! You gotta be careful there. Don't rush in. Huge uppercut misses. He's blocking almost all these shots. Oh, he got caught! Shot. How about that chin? Oh! Wow! He's got him right here. Wow! And just like that, the fight is over. Landed a hard kick for the knockout. Well, yeah, Joe, that fight was over as soon as that kick made contact. And with this particular striker, you are playing with poison if you don't get that guard up. You know these kicks are coming. You know they're coming in bunches. And that was a near-perfect land. Nailed the target. Full extension on the kick. And that's one of the better highlights we've seen here recently inside the octagon. Let's take a look at that from a different angle. Check it out again. Oh, man. K.O. So there he is, the undisputed UFC welterweight champion. What a finish he turned in here tonight as he gets it done by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 13 seconds of the third round. We're playing the winner by knockout and new. been talking about the